want to make sure everybody is ready for the midterm exam. I know you'll be okay with the multiple choice tests because you've all taken so many multiple choice tests, but we're going to have what's called an in-class practicum. It's like making a mini project and many of the parts are provided. I will walk you through the steps here. This will be a very simplified version just to let you know what kind of things will happen. And then when you do your own, make sure to be as creative and as, as skilled as possible. Use things that you've learned in class and uh, then you'll be able to get more points. So first, you should read directions thoroughly. So inside of the folder, you'll find that the directions are in here. I'll open it. So I've got my After Effects project file that's going to be in the project folder. I've got audio, which is clouds, which is music, and then I've got a scary sounding laugh. <clears throat> I've got a required pumpkin in the PSD, and then I've got Misty Woods, which can be my background, and a moon, and then flat image is what I've used to get those pictures, and then image source for sites, you would be able to choose something from morg file. Whatever you use, you want to make sure that you are going to show me how well you understand what we're doing in class. The goal of this entire exam is to show that you can use the transforms, use text animators, and synchronize motion with audio. You have to show me that you know how to import the files, how to add them to the timeline, and how to follow directions to output the animation. So let's open up the After Effects project. First I'm going to change the name. Now I'm going to open it. And you see already I have in the project window there is a comp. I'm going to rename the comp. So you click on the name and press return. And then you want to rename the comp so when you output it, it will have the correct name for the project. So there's nothing in here. It's just an empty file right now. And I'm going to import my files. So I'm going to go import file. Now remember, you can always import the files directly if they're footage. If you're going to import a layered PSD file that you are using as a poster, and you could do an, your own poster, then you would want to do it with import as a composition to retain layer sizes. But these are all single layer PSDs. I only want them to have transparency. I don't need any layers in them. So I'm just going to import them as footage. So that's something you can do. If you have created a PSD poster, then you will want to import it with composition retain layer sizes. I'm going to take all of these files down into the timeline. And then I'm going to organize them in the order that I want them to appear. So I want the Misty Woods to be behind everything. And then I've got a moon and I've got a pumpkin. I want the pumpkin in front of the moon. And I want to make sure that the moon actually looks like it's something that is in the sky. So it has to be behind the trees. To have it behind the trees, I'm going to put it behind Misty Woods and I'm going to change the mode. So you've got toggle switches modes down at the bottom here. And I'm going to change the mode for Misty Woods to screen. So now this shows through. I don't want the moon to be that bright. So I'm going to change the opacity. So I'll press T. And I'll change the opacity to bring it down some. There you go. 
And now I'm going to move that moon up. So I'm going to press P. I'm going to move it up and over and have it perhaps drops down in the scale so it's not quite as big. So you get it being something that you feel works. So and this, of course, this is not going to be the file that you were working on, but just get an idea of how you want something to look and then make it look that way. I think that's the most important thing. Now I'm going to go back to the regular display. And since these are where I want them, I'm happy. I'm going to lock them. Lock, lock. Now I've got a pumpkin. What can I do with the pumpkin? Well, what are the sounds here? I've got a laughing person, so let's check on the waveform. I'm going to select the name of the file in the timeline, and then I will press LL. And now I can see what we have happening here. I'm going to have this happen after a few seconds. Because we've got the music going first. So let's see what the music looks like. <laughs> okay, so I think I'll use the split so that I can have the pumpkin laughing. I think that would be effective. And I think I'm going to have the pumpkin start out being very small in the background. So I'm going to keyframe the scale. And there we go. So now it zooms in like that, it stays there. And at this point, I'm going to have him start laughing. So I'm going to have to get the effects and presets window so I can see it. I'm going to go to window, workspace, and there is a workspace for effects. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to look for split. Remember the CC split. And now these are the corners of the split. So if you have the slider, you can see where it opens up there. I think to make it look like it's a laughing mouth, I'm going to bring it down further here. And then I'll need something behind it so that it doesn't look like there's nothing there. Well, I think what I need to do for that then, I'll put some, I'll put a copy of the pumpkin behind it, but I will change the color so that it looks darker. That will work. So here's this. I'm going to keyframe that split and make that make sure that keyframe is right at the beginning here. Then we go to where it's open because there's a loud part, a loud portion in that wave form. So right here, I'm going to make his mouth open. and then have a little variations in it so that you can get something interesting happening here. And I'm going to press U so you can see the, all the keyframes, the way that they appear. Now his mouth will close where it gets quiet. But maybe not quite, maybe not all the way.
going to Command S to make sure that it's saved. I'm going to press the play head to see what it looks like. right here and now I need to have another pumpkin to put behind him I think because that will close the effect controls that will create a, something that will stop the image that will create something that will stop the image okay so now there he is and at this point I'm going to drag this to here, there, I'm going to make it slightly smaller, and I'm also going to make it somehow darker. So let's go over to the effects here, and let's look at color correction and let's say brightness and darkness uh, brightness and contrast and we'll just take the brightness down so I'm going to come to where I can see the mouth is open there so let's take the brightness down quite a bit Okay, so now there's something behind there. We'll make, make it even really darker, so there we go. Let's see what that looks like. about here where he starts laughing. I'm going to go fit and I'm going to double click the text tool. I've got grotesque empty standard bold extended and let's make it let's see let's make it this bright yellow orange here and well, I've already got it started, so double click and type Happy Halloween. And let's move it on top. And perspective, let's give it a nice drop shadow so that you can see it well. I'm going to shorten it so it's only up, starts here. Maybe I should start it a little bit earlier because we'll have it animate on. So I'm going to bring it here and then I'm going to have it animate on. So animation, browse presets. Text. And animate in. And let's see. So let's go with straight in by character, or here we go, smooth move in. That looks like a nice one, so let's see how that looks. That's good, and I'm going to check the keyframes by pressing, with this layer selected, I press U, <clears throat> and let's see. I'm going to bring the music up. Above it. 
And I'm going to hold down command so I can hear the music while I'm scrubbing. Okay, so at this point, I'm going to have... Drag this out to there. I'm going to move all these keyframes over to there. Put this right there. Okay, so there's some connection between when things are happening and what sounds we're hearing. Now I'm going to Command S to make sure that's saved. I'm going to click in the gray over to the side and press U so it collapses all the layers. And then I will play it by pressing the space bar. Okay, so that fulfills all the requirements. I've got all the text in. I've got the sounds that are synchronized with the mouth moving on the pumpkin. I've used the required PSD file and now I can say file and well, I've already saved it so there's no save available so I know I'm saved. I'm going to go to composition add to Adobe Media Encoder Q. Okay, check the preset to make sure that it is this one, high quality 720 PHD. If it's not, you come down to user presets and groups, system presets, broadcast, H264, and then underneath H264 you'll find high quality 720 PHD. You would click on it and drag it up and drop it over those words, and that's where it would go, right under the preset. Then you click on the green triangle to output. The video preview will be right here. And now it is done. Quit. Make sure you save. It's saved. Quit. Close the bridge. And check in the AME folder. And here it is. Press the spacebar to preview.